Okay, let's get started. I wanna show you my five basic must-haves in five minutes, and let's get started. The first thing I like to do after moisturizing and hydrating my skin is I wanna make my skin even. So what we're going to do is I am going to use this amazing bronzing cream from Chanel, and I'm gonna take a large sort of, it's called a kabuki brush, and I'm gonna take this brush, and on my hydrated skin, I'm going to do a slight wash of color over my entire face, and especially around my hairline. I have a larger forehead, so I do like to bring color up around the hairline, and then swish color over through the center of the face, even over my eyes a little bit, smiling on the apple of my cheeks, and always put your cream bronzer, your foundation, whatever you're using to even out your skin, make sure to apply it over your mouth. Now to give my skin a little bit of extra definition, I do like to start at my ear, blend in, my ear, blend in, and it gives a little bit more definition and helps to highlight my cheekbones. And then again, I do like that bit of pop of color onto my cheeks so that my face has dimension and also my skin looks a little more even. Now I'm gonna continue to even out my skin. And by doing that, I need to help to define my eyes. And to define my eyes, I need to conceal my darkness under my eye. So I'm using Le Correcteur and I love this shade. It is um, B31 and I'm going to apply this and I apply a generous amount of the concealer. I like to then let it sit for a moment. The next step is this. It is my corrector for my under eye. This is shade number 31. It's called Le Correcteur from Chanel. And for days where I know I'm wearing less makeup, I actually do a little bit more concealer because my eyes have are a little bit more deep set and there's darkness under them. I do need to help that under eye look brighter and then hence my eyes will look more defined and my skin actually will look more even. So what I'm doing, using a fluffy concealer brush, I'm blending the concealer down a little bit onto the top of my cheeks. I also take that concealer and I blend it onto the top of my brow bone and a little bit onto my eyelid as well. Just by tapping and pressing, I get that instant brightness and you can see my eye looks brighter as well. The whites of my eyes look brighter and it just looks that much more ready to take on the day. I do love this look corrector from Chanel because it in fact is self-setting. It doesn't need a powder, it doesn't crease or crinkle on me, and it really does just gently blend into my skin. And I do like putting on the corrector after my bronzer because then I feel like I get a little bit more of that natural highlight. Then again, blending it onto my brow bone, onto my eyelid. And then next, I want to continue defining and lifting my face. I'm gonna do my brows. So I use Stilo Sorcille Waterproof in shade number 808. And I'm just gently applying in soft feathery strokes where I need that color. And then brushing the spoolie up. On days where I'm going for a more natural look, I don't over analyze my brows because I don't want my brows to look too heavy and defined and perfected when the rest of my face is more natural. So again, just looking at where my brow hairs naturally fall, I'm going in and applying color where I need it the most, which is usually at that tail of the brow. And right underneath at that arch, there's a little bald spot. A few washes of color at the head of the brow, brushing up and over to blend the color and my brow hairs together. Then to further define my eyes, I can't go anywhere without a few good coats of Le Volume Mascara. This is a beautiful, rich black shade that really helps to lengthen and add volume to lashes. I could spend a lot of time defining and building up my lashes. Remember to start right at the root and zigzag up, making sure that you go around all three sides of your eyes, starting at that inner corner and zigzagging up to give that soft yet strong and defined definition to your eyes. I might add a few more coats before my final picture. Last but not least, a hint of color. So I am loving the shade of lip color for the fall transition season. 
And I like to apply again my color just on the bottom lip and then tapping and blending my lip color with my finger. So it gives a little bit more of a volume, um, more of a stained sort of voluminous look to my lip versus overly drawn on and heavy. Hope you found this helpful. You too can get ready very quickly. Five simple products, five minutes and off you go. Have a great day.